Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm just, I hope you can hear me. Uh, maybe Christine reply, uh, if you can hear me. Okay, so I'm seeing responses in the chat. Um, I think everybody should be able to see uh, a bunch of slides uh, on the screen. So let me take this opportunity to welcome you to the 2020 Jetscape School. Uh, usually for the last couple of years, this is something that we have held uh, in person. Uh, in, you know, but um, this year, of course, because of the pandemic, that was not possible. And so we decided to go online. And when we went online, we wondered if there was a broader interest in the school uh, than, you know, just within the United States, for example, or in, you know, in Europe. And it turned out there is, of course. Uh, so I, I now see uh, almost 125 participants and there are almost 200 of you who have registered. So this is an entirely new uh, experiment for us uh, to be managing a school of this size uh, and to be doing it entirely online. And to facilitate that, we've decided to hold it essentially from just for three hours a day at a time where most people uh, in the, on the planet can actually attend. So welcome again to the school. Um, I'm going to hand it off to Christine to give you some more details about the exact uh, logistics of, of the meeting, how to ask questions, you know, how to start discussions and things like that. Uh, things have to be a little bit organized, um, especially because in many cases the speaker may not be able to see uh, you or, or will be able to, uh, you know, maybe see your question come up while he's uh, giving his lecture. Um, so there's a Slack channel and there's a, there's a setup that Christine will, uh, will explain of how we would like to do this to keep it organized. Um, but as I said, this is kind of new for us. And so, uh, you know, this will be a, a bit of a learning exercise as, as we get more and more uh, accustomed to uh, the, the manner in which the school will progress. Um, so I'm getting text from Christine. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to start talking now. Welcome you again to the online school. I hope uh, you have a lot of fun uh, learning about the Jetscape software and all of its capabilities. And I'm now going to hand off to Christine. Excellent. Thank you. So um, just in case you're curious, we had over 200 participants registered. This is the breakdown. Um, as of a couple days ago, um, you can see that most people are students or postdocs. We are um, roughly evenly split something like 40 to 45 percent. Um, from the Americas and 40 to 45 percent from Asia, then uh, 15 to 20 percent from Europe. So all around the world, lots of people. Um, this brings up another uh, a big issue. So we encourage you to help others. This is going to help. As Abhijit said, this is a learning experience for us. Um, and so um, if you are doing fine and um, following the exercises and um, able to, we would appreciate it if you could um, help out others who may be further behind. And in the end, we're going to ask for nominations for the most helpful, helpful participants and we're going to award them a prize, the exact type of prize um, to be determined based on um, what we can manage logistically. Um, and then uh, please update your demographic information. Um, this is primarily because we would like information for the National Science Foundation, which is our funding agency. Um, and only me and Abhijit have access to this information and we're only going to use it in the aggregate. So we're only going to talk about percentages of the entire school. So it's not identifiable. Um, 
please also go into your registration and update your institution. Some of you did not list an institution. Um, so this appears on the website at, next to your name and then you don't get credit for your institution participating. Uh, so the routine is that we meet 9 to 12 Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. We're alternating between lectures and interactive sections. So the lectures are going to give you the frame, the foundation, and then they're followed by uh, a type, some type of homework so that you can complete this in the next day and use the Slack channel to ask for help. Um, and then the interactions, interactive sec session is to um, troubleshoot issues that people had with the um, with the homework. The chairs are going to moderate the discussion and highlight questions for the lecturers so we can try to answer um, the most common questions and the most pressing questions. Um, and we encourage you to choose the sessions which are most relevant for you. So in the past we've had every participant participate in every session but you may choose to opt out of different sessions. So the first session is the framework. So this is recommended for everybody because it serves as the foundation foundation of the previous of the following um, sessions. The um, session two is physics lectures. We anticipate having a pretty high rate of attendance there. Sessions three and four focus on um, the medium and jet quenching, but also specifically trying to develop a module so that you could add your own model into the um, into Jetscape. Um, sessions five and six are um, showing you how to do a Bayesian analysis, five on the soft sector and six on the hard sector. And session five is a prerequisite for, the, uh, for session six because it's gonna give you some foundation for understanding Bayesian analyses in general. Um, if you update your preferences, we'll, we'll get to have an updated feel for what the, the load is gonna be on each of the sessions, which might allow us to adapt our plans as we go along to serve everybody as best as we can. Um, logistics. Please keep your microphone muted unless you are speaking and keep your camera off um, unless necessary. We would probably specifically ask participants if the camera would be useful. Um, we have not disabled participant to participant chats in Zoom. These chats are transcribed when the session is recorded. These are not private chats, just be aware of that. Um, there is a and we have breakout rooms. There is a technical support breakout room. So you should be able to see that there is a breakout room. This breakout room is primarily so that um, if people are having issue with the Linux command line, not, not issues with the software itself so much as more fundamental issues, um, we have a tech support person, Chuck, who's in there to help you. Um, you can ask to be put into that, um, into that breakout room if you think that it's necessary, or we may ask you to move into there um, so that you can get some help with those types of issues. Um, we may create other breakout rooms if there's a significant fraction of participants who all have the same issue or question. Um, you have to be added manually, so you're gonna have to tell us if that's the right um, breakout room for you. Questions, this is probably the most important part. Um, Questions, we encourage you to participate in questions because this is how we know that you're actually following the exercises and able to do things. Um, our preferred method, our strongly preferred method is that you ask questions in Slack on the channel for the um, speaker who is speaking. Um, so you're gonna look for the um, the channel that mentions James's name the, uh, on, the, on the software. Um, Slack will try to go back and, and ensure that people's questions have been answered um, after the fact. Um, and to keep the load manageable, we would ask that if you have the same problem as someone else, please use the thumbs up to indicate that you have that problem um, so that we can gauge how common the issue is and um, don't reply saying, I also have that problem because it, if 30% of the participants have the same problem, it could get rather hard to follow the thread. Um, 
chat in Zoom. Zoom, we hope that you will use Slack in general. Um, there may be some questions that don't make it, the questions here do not get recorded in a very usable way. So we will not answer these questions after the session. But this is where you should ask to join a breakout room if we have one. Um, and uh, then you can raise your hand in Zoom. We would prefer that you generally not do this. But for instance, if your question is answered and you would like a follow up question or to clarify what the question was, um, raising your hand is, is a good way to do this and we can unmute you so that you can speak. All right, so reacting in Slack, how do you um, give a thumbs up? So here I have a screenshot showing how you go to the message in Slack and then you can click to find another reaction and find the thumbs up. Zoom features. Some of the instructors are going, instructors are going to ask you questions during the lectures. Um, so you can, um, it, we have, we plan on using the yes and no buttons. So if you go to the participant page, you will get a pop-up window and you're going to see a few different options there. One is raise hand mentioned earlier, and then there's yes and no. Um, so this is how you find those features. Um, and of note, uh, there is a post-school survey um, and we would really, really like your participation. This participation is very important for, to our funding agency. So if you want us to be able to continue to offer opportunities like this again, please provide feedback. And as Abhijit said, this is the first time we've done an online school and it's the first time that we have done a school of this size. So if we do this again, um, constructive feedback for how to do it better is very much welcome. Um, and then a minor detail, some of you may need a certificate of participation. Um, if you do email me, we're working on getting something to say to verify that you participated. Please only ask for this if you need it because it is extra work on our side. Um, finally, I would like to thank all of our instructors, lecturers, and teaching assistants. This is, has been, this has been an enormous amount of work and preparation, much more than they signed up for, um, and we are really, really grateful. Um, so, Abhijit, did you have anything to add? I just wanted to uh, join you in, in uh, thanking all our instructors and just welcome everybody else um, to again to the to the meeting because I see there are people still joining uh, and I, I put the 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 thread in the chat because <laughs> I know we just said we're not going to use the zoom chat but let me just use the zoom chat just this once just to tell everybody the the channel in the slack where you should ask questions that's all I have all right thank you